the 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 idea the long term idea is this we will somehow some way only it's only game why you have to be mad what is up heroes of dominion my name is charlie this is hero war central and this video is going to break down whether or not the secrets of the dragon mountains is a good event a bad event a fun event whatever we're going to do a complete guide and if you want a reference guide for this video i put a blog post link in the description box down below it's going to have a lot of the information we're going to discuss today in text format if you want to refer back to it uh, of course if you want to support me in the channel then watching this video is the best way to do that and uh, and away we go so the secrets of the Dragon Mountains is a seven-day event. I'm not going to go through these eight tasks. You can read them yourself. You're a big boy or girl. None of these reset by completing them. So you, once you complete the chain, once it is done, the main gameplay loop for this event is to do tasks to collect these rune stones. You're going to use the rune stones in the event map, which is this little door right here, this door in the bottom right-hand corner. You jump in here. You use the rune stones to fight the boss every day. You're going to get a little bit of a story before the boss fight and after the boss fight every single day you can see it takes six in order to fight the boss you fight the boss you get the currency the fafnir coins you use the fafnir coins in the fafnir's forge shop pretty straightforward there you can see that up in the top right hand corner you have your counter for the currency now unique to this is the inability to purchase the coins with emeralds, which I find very strange, but it is, you know, it's just fine. Now, all over the map, you have these little crossed swords. These are the daily tasks. They're all very easy, very easy tasks to complete. If you take a look at the blog post over on HeroWarsCentral.com, I have the uh, I have the complete task list for all seven days. You can reference that if you'd like, but uh, it's there. You know, you can go check on it anytime you'd like. And these also will reward you with uh, the rune stone. So, for example, this one's something that I would do every day anyway, at least one time. Use the emerald exchange one time. Come on, big 100. You never, you never get the 100. It's a very, it's a very low chance to get the 100. And of course, I get the times one. So there we go. I get the two rune stones. I can collect that. Don't quite have enough to fight the boss yet. But uh, that's that's okay. As far as I know, there are not any hidden Easter eggs or mini games in this. But if there are, we will add them to the blog post as well, and uh, we'll probably do a separate video to you know bring people's attention to it if necessary. Now, as far as how to best spend the currency, there are a couple of different strategies you can really go into with this. Three main strategies, actually. First of all, the two-star Fafnir will cost you 8,000 coins. I would recommend getting that. I do think that it might be a slightly better value to just buy Fafnir dolls and uh, and get 30 soul stones for Fafnir out of the dolls. You need 30 soul stones in order to summon Fafnir at two stars. And I've gotten a lot of reports of people getting at least 30 soul stones by just buying 10, all right? So 10 times 750 is 7,500. That's 500 less than the 8,000 you need for this. If you buy the 8,000 after you summon Fafnir, I think you just get 30 soul stones. I'm not 100% sure how that works because I didn't try it, but you can chase Fafnir, right? Get Fafnir, summon Fafnir, uh, evolve Fafnir up to a six star by continuing to buy Fafnir Fafnir dolls. You can build Ishmael, which I would not recommend because Ishmael soul stones can be had elsewhere. You can see in the Grand Arena shop, you can just buy Ishmael soul stones at any time. And the other contents of the Ishmael dolls are going to be the same contents that you're going to find in the Fafnir doll. So if you're going to be chasing Ishmael, just buy them from the Grand Arena shop. If you're going to be chasing Fafnir, you're going to get a lot of other rewards out of the dolls. If I can find a screenshot of all of the contents for Fafnir dolls, I'll put it on screen now. We do not have an official drop rate for the dolls, but I imagine that we will have some kind of extrapolation or uh, or idea for what it looks like you know 15 percent chance to get fafnir soul stones at a 20 percent chance like as the as the as the day goes on as the week goes on we will get more and more sample size and we'll have a better idea of what the drop rate percentage is if i haven't put it on the screen on this video here then go check out the blog post i will definitely have the drop rates for the dolls added to the blog post all right the other strategy of the two is to buy the stellar skin chest now, these chests are a new addition to Hero Wars Facebook and Web. They have the opportunity to get a uh, uh, one of three brand new skins for Marcus, Anvari, or Tristan. You can see up here at the top the bad luck protection means uh, you can open 60, and if you've opened 60 without getting a skin, then you will be guaranteed one of the skins. You'll also get a lot of great rewards out of here. Outline coins, skin stones, and large skin stone chests. Really, the bad reward out of here is going to be the gold, and this is going to be a completely viable option for those players players that are not interested in getting and leveling up Fafnir. I know there's a lot of people out there that don't have room for Fafnir. 
that can't afford to level another hero like Fafnir. Uh, Fafnir just doesn't have a good spot in their team. You know, for whatever reason, if you don't want to get Fafnir, then, you know, getting the stellar stellar skin chests full of skin stones and outline coins is not a bad purchase, right? It's a little bit more expensive, and, and I did do a video about how I don't really like this too much. I'll put that, I'll link that video at the end of this video if you haven't watched it yet already. The, the, the idea, the long-term idea is this. We will somehow, some way, have a way to get more Fafnir soul stones in the future. You know, how to get those in the future, we're not gonna be sure. Another event, maybe, maybe you're gonna get them from the Clash of Worlds shop, like the uh, the the recently released hero, Amira and Iris. We don't know how you're gonna get Fafnir soul stones in the future, but I, I'm fairly certain that there will be a consistent way to get them in the future. Now, we do have an announcement about these stellar skins that uh, these three skins are only available in this stellar skin chest. And there will be opportunities in the future to get these stellar skins. So even though it does say that these are only available here, we will potentially have ways in the future. You know, will it be a year from now when we have an opportunity to get these? Will it be six months from now? Will it be next month? We just, we, we really don't know about either things. So if you are going to use Fafnir, get Fafnir dolls. If you are using these three heroes or think that you're going to use these three heroes, especially in Clash of Worlds, I'm definitely going to be using Marcus and Clash of Worlds. These other two I probably don't care about at all. Then, you know, then you need to go for these stellar skin chests. Now, I have heard reports of people getting them at a 10% drop rate or a 5% drop rate, the, the skins, but that's just a very small sample size. Just a couple people in my live stream yesterday mentioned getting them at that drop rate. I have no idea what the drop rate is. I can tell you that the grand prize skins on Hero Wars Mobile like this are less than 1% drop rate. All right, so uh, you do need to buy uh, 180 of these stellar skin chests in order to guarantee all three of them, and that is 630,000 of the uh, Fafnir coins. So you're not gonna be able to do that without spending money on this event. And speaking of spending money on this event, the value for the Fafnir coins, I have not decided uh, just yet what that is, but the emerald value at the, at the best at the best value for emeralds, it's a uh, one dollar for one thousand two hundred and seventy-six emeralds. So if we take if we take that, then uh, this emerald bundle is worth. If we, if you if you take away the Fafnir coins, the eighteen thousand Fafnir coins, and you just buy this bundle just for the emeralds, which you absolutely should not, then this bundle should be valued at around three dollars. <laughs> around three dollars uh, at the at the best most efficient value for purchasing emeralds so the the game has placed a very high value on these fafnir coins we'll have to figure out what the emerald per coin rate is and uh, if somebody in the comments has done that or somebody watching has done that please let me know over on discord and i will add that to the blog post as well and we'll be able to make a good uh, efficient decision on whether or not this uh, this bundle and the uh, increasing cost bundles, if they are worth buying or not. Generally speaking, with these guild bundles, you know, you buy this bundle and you get the stuff on the left. Your guild members, all of them get something, this uh, pile on the right. If a, if a handful of your guild members buy the bundle, usually it becomes worth it. What the break point is, if it's five guild members or 10 guild members buying it, does it become worth it? That's, that's really kind of the fuzzy part and it's going to be subjective to each guild i guess but if everybody in your guild buys one of these bundles then they are uh, an, an incredible value but the problem is is you know are you you know are you going to ask everybody in your guild to spend 20 bucks on this you know it's it's really it's between you and your guild i guess so if you're interested in why i hate hero wars right now why i'm really mad at hero wars right now then check out the video that's on screen. It's going to break down the uh, the really nastiness of Hero Wars Facebook and Web over the last 24 hours. Uh, what I what I really don't like about it, and uh, I recommend everybody watch it just to kind of keep things in perspective a little bit with this event. Hope everybody's going to have a great and fantastic weekend. I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.